Hello. Hello. Hey guys. Hi, teacher. Hi. All right. Nice to miss you. Google Hangouts changed again, so. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yesterday they changed 41 features of Google Plus, so. Hangouts is one of them. <laughs> they changed 41 features, did you yeah. say? Yeah. Oh, wow. You can look at Google Plus homepage and see the differences. How is everyone? How are you guys? Good? So to warm up, I'd like you guys to tell us if you could be any animal, what animal would you be and why? Yes, again. <laughs> what animal would you be and why? Um, so I'm Samantha. Uh, nice to meet you if this is my first class with you. I see a lot of familiar faces. I think I've met all of you guys at some point, but um, I'm from Canada. I live in France. Um, it's 8 a.m., so I have my coffee, and <laughs> if I could be an animal, um, I don't know, actually, I didn't think moose. about that. A moose, yeah, I would be, I would be a beaver or a moose <laughs> to show my Canadian pride. <laughs> um, Paul, hi. Yes, hello. How are you? Doing good, thank you. So, what animal would you be? Uh, the dragon. Why a dragon? They are cool. They are big and they can burn everyone out. <laughs> okay. Um, Mauricio? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Well, if I were uh, an animal, I could be a. Uh, an eagle eater of dragons. <laughs> a what dragon kind of eagle? eagle. Watch out, Paul. A, a, a dragon eater. <laughs> How do you say that? <laughs> Is it, uh, like a... I think it'd be a cat. That's it. <laughs> Stop lying to us. <laughs> okay. Uh, Forget? Sloth. Sloth. Sloths are like sleep all the time, and yeah, it would be great. Just because it's like such a lazy animal, <laughs> I'm doing nothing, and hanging upside down. <laughs> okay. Um, hi, Lady. Hi, I'm here. Hi, could you introduce yourself for us? Uh, interview. Introduce. Yeah, I am. Um, my name is Han. I'm from Vietnam. I am. I am twenty eight years old. Cool. And uh, I am so happy to uh, learn English with everybody here. Cool. I'm glad yeah. you're in class. Nice yeah. to meet you. And um, if I. Uh, Will be become uh, any animal? Maybe I like to become a bird because I like to fly on the sky and um, sing. <laughs> a bird? Yeah, bird. Bird. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Thanks. And nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. And hey, Christoph. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Okay, I am Christoph, uh, and I want to be a dragonfly. I don't know what is that? A dragon? dragonfly? A dragonfly? Yes. A dragonfly? All right. Does everyone know what a dragonfly is? Is flying Maybe. on yeah. over the pond. I'm going to show yeah. you a insect, right? Yes, kind of insect. 
I'm going to show you a picture. I actually love dragonflies, Lindsay. That's one thing that I know Firkin's going to disagree with, but I would like to get a tattoo of a dragonfly. <laughs> um, where's... Dragonfly reminds me of uh, summer. Yeah, here's my pictures. These are dragonflies. Do you see it? Yes. <laughs> Why would you be a dragonfly? Because it's like summery? Yes, uh, remind me of uh, summer. Cool. Reminds me of swamps. Of swamps? <laughs> That's not nice. Uh, swamps, when I think of swamps, I think of like, um, you know those like water spiders? Do you, have you heard of water spiders? Yeah. They're like spiders that kind of sit on the top of the water. That's what I think of. Um, for me, uh, it is part of uh, my country where there are a ponds with uh, reeds. Oh. Okay, cool. And Ismail. Hi, Ismail. Wow, long time no see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Fine, and you? Good thing. Uh, me, I would be. I would like to be a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Why? A big turtle from the sea. Why to? Because I'm lazy and I can be always at home. You can uh, like crawl off when when someone is like Ismail. You just go no. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I have my home with me. I always at home, and I'm. I take my time. Cool. True. <laughs> That's funny. Um, hey, Barkat. Barkat. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good Teacher? thing. How are you? Absolutely fine. So, what animal would you be if you could be any animal? Horse. Did you just say a horse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool. Why a horse? Because it is a, uh, a, st a strong animal and I am also strong. <laughs> it means uh, I am a very hard worker and horse is also. I am play the games and uh, animal also can uh, use for the uh, games, polo, anything other. Nice. So that's cool. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So you want to be a game horse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Hey, Slim. Hey, Samantha. Glad you to see joined. you. Yay! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? Good thing. So, if you could be any animal, what would you be, and why? Well, since they took the dragon, <laughs> the horse. I would like to take the horse, yeah, because they are so free. I mean, they are the, uh, maybe the symbol of freedom for me. Cool. Um, Paul, I, <laughs> I jokingly said a moose or a beaver because I'm Canadian, <laughs> but um, I think I would be hmm, a chameleon. <laughs> Because <laughs> <Wow. laughs> then I could go be like sneaky and listen in on everyone's conversation because I could just blend into the wall. <laughs> nice one. Okay. Uh, mm. Okay, so today we were going to do um, dictionary skills, but as you guys may know, I still don't have my trusty computer yet, and I can't find that document. It won't open for me. So. I had to move on to the next lesson document um, just for this class, but for the other classes we'll still be doing lesson three. Um, so I was asking about animals because we're talking about humans and human thought today. So the title is When Did Humans Begin to Think? Hopefully you guys haven't done this recently. Um, maybe oh, it's chapter five, What Are You Thinking? Um, I'm going to zoom on in here. And as usual, we will um, practice reading out loud together. We'll look at the vocabulary, and I will also try to listen for any pronunciation mistakes you're making when you're reading, okay? 
Um, main focus is vocabulary, though, so we will be defining all those bold words. Okay, so okay. any volunteers to read first? Okay, I am. I want to read. Okay. Yeah. Understanding the origins of humankind has fascinated scientists for centuries. We know that our ancestors split from those of the chimpanzee, our closest biological relative, between 4 million and 8 million years ago. Evidence from fossil bones indicates that these early ancestors spread out from Africa to other parts of the world in multiple waves beginning at least 1 million years ago. By about 100,000 years ago, modern human humans, Homo sapiens, had developed in Africa, and by about 40,000 years ago, they had reached Europe. They also began to have a growing presence on other continents. Good. And interesting. Oh, I'm gonna freeze. Stop you there. Can you just repeat the words in the chat quickly? Chat. Evidence. Africa, hundred thousand years. Growing continents, continents. Okay, so the first one is evidence. 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 Not evidence. Ev not evidence. 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 Good. So just that I sound there. And then it's Africa. Africa. Good. So just be careful with your R's. You're rolling your R's. Africa. Africa. But it should be. Africa, Africa. You have to Africa. hold your tongue. <laughs> Don't let your tongue touch the touch your mouth. And then when you're saying, um, it should be one hundred thousand years, not one hundred thousand years. Sorry, one thousand. Yeah, like this. I'll type it. Ah, one hundred thousand years. Not one hundred thousand years. Okay. And then growing, it was the same problem with your R. You're saying growing, growing, growing. But it should be growing, growing. Do you hear the difference? Growing, growing. But What's the uh, accent? Uh, sorry? Yeah, What's it's pronunciation? The, it's the R sound. The growing. Arm. Yeah, you're doing this. Growing, growing. Yeah, doing because sometimes I have been reading uh, Oxford Dictionary. I think so. But it, your pronunciation is fine. It's just the R sound because your tongue it's tapping right here. Growing. Okay. But you need to hold your tongue muscle so it stays like like this. Growing, growing. Okay. It doesn't hit your mouth. Okay. Cool. Growing. Grow yeah, that was better. Cool. So and last word. Um oh continents. Continents. Yeah, same I problem. Continents. Continents. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Continent. Continent. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Um okay. thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's take a look at the vocabulary. So the first word is origins. What does that mean? Origins. Descent. Descent. Good. W where you come from are your origins. Yeah. Um, what about biological? Biological mm -hmm. about uh, animals. Yeah. Animals. Genes. 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 Humans. The body. DNA. You know, DNA. Yeah. Good. Um, anything to do with life and life forms? Yeah. Um, what about multiple uh, waves? Multiple. Variety? Yeah, multiple means like a variety more than one. Um, what does waves mean in this context? Mm, flat. <laughs> Like. Yeah, it doesn't mean waves in the water, right? Yeah. It's uh, not that kind of wave. It's it's figurative. Proliferation. Yeah, good. 
So, have you ever heard of um, of feminism? Feminism. We say that mm -hmm. feminism has come in in a few waves. There's first wave feminism, second wave, and third wave. So when we're saying wave, we're talking about kind of a moment in time or a push, not an actual wave in the water like this, right? So in this case, it says, um, evidence from fossil bones indicates that early ancestors spread out from Africa to other parts of the world in multiple waves. So in a, a number of times, a number of pushes, right? beginning about a million years ago. Um, has everybody heard Homo sapiens before? Yes, white. Uh, no, actually, that that uh, Homo sapien just means human. I typed it. Is it Latin? Yeah, yes, yes. White. Um, like yes. the color? No, white. How the same as your eye type? Oh right, right. You're um yes, what? Yeah, that kind of white. It means you're the type of person that you are, where you come from. So Homo sapien encompasses all humans, all humans. Um, and what about the word presence? Existence. Yes. What about this? What about this presence? Gifts. Yeah, <laughs> so they sound the same, right? Um, uh -huh. They're homonyms, but this presence that we're looking at means the existence of something, a growing presence. Um, is there any other vocabulary in this paragraph that you don't know? Any new words? Biological. 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 Okay, I'm going to. Biological. Life, life forms, animals, humans. Right, so biological, relating to life, life forms, animals, humans, that's all part of biology, the type of science, biology. Biology, biological. Right, biolog, that's a hard one to, to pronounce, it's kind of long. Biological, but it's pronounced how it looks. Biological. Biological. Perfect. Perfect. Um, any other vocabulary? Maybe uh, can you give a synonym of fossil? Uh, fossil. Mm -hmm. Um, fossils are basically bones that are have been preserved in rock over millions of years. So rather than giving you an example, it's actually easier to show you pictures. So no, I actually know them, but uh, just oh, looking for uh, vocabularies, synonyms. Um, let me think. Synonym. I want to say anything that makes sense. Um, Recipes? Yeah, kind of. Um, uh, uh, uh. Imp imp no, I get skeleton. So, yeah, relics, um, petrified bones. <laughs> you should admit. Um, it's actually there. Really, aren't very many syn There aren't really any synonyms, like specific synonyms for a fossil. Um. That's really the best word you could use. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's <laughs> great. Um, Humans within bracket Homo sapiens. Sapiens. Right. Homo sapiens. Right. It means human homo in life. Yes. Any other vocabulary words so far? Horseshoe. 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 Um. Sorry, which word? I, I write out on the chat box. Oh. Uh, fossil. 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 Um, 
Yes, I will. Sh I'm just going to show you a picture so everybody knows what fossils are. Um, oh, my hangout goes in. Oh, there we go. Okay, here's the spot. Oh. So this is a skeleton. This is a fossil right here. So it's an imprint. It's an imprint of bones that have been preserved in rock over time. Okay? Okay. So here's some other fossils. There's a fossil of a, a starfish, a lobster, a fish. Okay? So that's how we've learned so much about dinosaurs, right? Is through fossils mm. and other ancient animals, ancient life forms. Jurassic mm -hmm. Park. <laughs> yeah, Jurassic Park. <laughs> Okay, let's go on to number two, okay? Um, actually, two and three, so how about, um, that was Barkat, right? So, uh, Kristov, would you like to read? Okay. Me. Oh, you're next. <laughs> Kristov first. Okay. okay. An interesting question in humankind's uh, development is uh, when did we begin to think critically? Uh, in other words, when did we turn from animals uh, focus only on the daily struggle to avoid starvation to humans who could uh, think symbol symbolically about the world around us? However, answering this question is not easy as thinking leaves no fossils to discover. Uh, common sense. Sorry, I'm actually just going to stop you there. Okay. Um, there's three words in the chat. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. I want to participate. Critical. Yes, you can. Don't worry. Everyone will get a chance to read. <laughs> okay. Critically, struggle, symbolic. Okay. So symbolically. Um, with the first two words, you have an R problem, so be careful with your R pronunciation, okay? Yeah. You're, you're rolling your R still a little bit, okay? Cr critically. Critically. And also, when you have this A-L... Sorry, A-L-L-Y sound at the end, it doesn't sound like Ali, it just sounds like Lee. Okay. So it's, it sounds like critically. this. Critically. Struggle. And symbol symbolically. Yeah, exactly. It sounds like that. Critically, symbolically. Cool. Um, okay, what does starvation mean? Uh, hungry. hungry. Dying from hunger. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Dying from hunger. What about symbolically? Uh, Sign. <laughs> yes. No, directly. <laughs> right. What does it mean if you think symbolically about the world? Mm. Out of the box. Right. Yeah. Thinking out of the box. So look at the whole sentence. It says, in other words, when did we turn from animals focused only on the daily struggle to avoid starvation to humans who could think symbolically about the world around us? When did we change from being um, animals <laughs> animals to, yeah, to human independent, independently thinking humans who don't have to worry as much about starvation? So thinking symbolically means thinking about, you know, uh, poetically almost, thinking independently, thinking about things, about writing, art, rather than only focusing on food and starving. So um, it's asking, when did this shift happen? And then it says, answering this question is not easy because thinking leaves no fossils. <laughs> <laughs> No evidence. <laughs> no evidence. Okay, let's go to number three. Um, oh, sorry. Any vocabulary questions here? Really? Okay, number come three. Come on. Can... Yeah, come on. Sensor? Come yeah. on. Sensor. Common sense. Oh. Common sense. 
common sense. A common sense assumption is that higher levels of post go hand in hand with verbal language because higher thinking such as creative thought would naturally seek a means of expression so trusting the develop of a language could give an approximate idea of when human began to think critically. Good. Critically. Critically, good. Some, some words in the chat for you, Lee. Could you read chat. those three? You see, thought. 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 Yes, thought. So it sounds like this. Thought. Thought. Can you, uh, Lee, can you move your camera so I can see your mouth? I can read the phone. Sorry, just a second, Stephen. Yes, good. Thought. Talk. Yes, that was better. And uh, seek. Seek. Good. It's just the S sound. It's just the air coming out of your teeth when you're clenching like this. Seek. 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 So instead of using your tongue, where you're like this, teek, teek, your tongue, teak. it's doing nothing. It's just about the air. Think of air like, but it's, you're like a snake. Yes, yeah, snake is very good. Yes. Yeah. Seek. Seek. Okay. And then the next one was tracing. Teak. Yes. Tracing. 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 Good. Yeah. And seek. <laughs> seek. And good. Thought. 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 Good. 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 Is this O U G H? That O U G H is like ah. You know when you're at the dentist ah. <laughs> it's like that. Ah. Thought. Thought. Perfect. Thought. <laughs> See. Perfect. Tracing. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Good. Good job. Okay. Let's take a look at the vocabulary. What does uh, common sense mean? Mm, everyday thinking. <laughs> uh -huh. Common wise. <laughs> right. Yeah. Everyday think. So common sense is something that everyone should know right it's um your common sense. common sense would be don't tip this over upside down because the coffee will come out right it's just something that you just wouldn't do it's oh. it's your common yeah. sense your common knowledge something implicit mm -hmm. maybe logic logic thank you that's the word or normal Logic, common sense. Yes. Um, what about the word verbal? Oral. Oral, yes. Mm. Oral, spoke. spoken. Spoken, oral. Yep. Assumption and assumption? Assumption. 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 It comes from the verb to assume. Assumption. Assume to like make proposition. Make an assumption. Yeah. If you assume something, um, you. Purpose. Sorry. Purpose. Proposition. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like a a prediction that you believe. So, for example, um. I came to class today assuming that I would have some students, right? Mistaken, mistaken. 
Yeah. Pro um, kind, mm, it's not exactly a proposition. A proposition is when you suggest something to someone or you propose something. An assumption is more internal. An assumption is when you think of something that might happen and you decide that yes, this is what will happen. For example, like I said, I, I'll type my example. Okay, so I came to class assuming I would have some students. I made the assumption that I would have some students. So you make, you make an assumption or you assume. Prediction. A prediction, yeah, a prediction. Production. Mm -hmm. Pre prediction. Production. Assume. So what they're saying in this case is a common uh, sense assumption is that higher levels of thought go hand in hand with verbal language. A common sense assumption is an assumption that like everybody makes, right? It's a logical assumption. So it's logical or normal for people to assume that higher levels of thought go hand in hand with verbal language. When you can speak it is assumed that you can also think on a higher level, right? For example, humans can both think and speak, so it is assumed that humans are smarter than pigs, for example, right? Do you guys know what hand in hand means? What does hand in hand mean? At the same time. Yeah. Literally, think of hand in hand, right? Holding hands. Oh. Uh. Um, this, this is literal, right? In the text, it's figurative, just saying that they go together. Uh, it's together. Yeah. They, they go together. Um, Marvin, are you having some trouble? Okay. Okay. Um creative thought. Um, what does this mean? A means of expression. A means of something. Measures. Tool. Measures, ways, means of expression. Um, okay, any other vocabulary in this little bit? Tool, maybe? Tool? Uh-huh. Sorry, like this? Oh, yes, tools. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's continue then. Number four. Oh, this is a long one. Are you ready, Mauricio? Yes. Okay. You're lucky. <laughs> yeah, you've got the long one. <laughs> Good. Interest, interestingly, we do have some fossil evidence related to speech. Animals whose larynx, whose larynx voice box is placed high in their throats are unable to produce the variety of sounds necessary for speech. Fossil bones tell us that in early humans, the larynx was originally high in the throat. However, by about 200,000 years ago, it had moved lower in the throat. This lowering provided a larger sound cha chamber, the space in the throat and the mouth, in which passing air could be controlled by the tongue, making the articulation the articulation of a wide, ra of a wide range of sounds and rhythms possible. Most languages use between 25 and 30 sounds 
English uses more than 40. Okay. There's two words there. Oops. Good articulation. Yeah. So, could... Um, say could. it one more time. Good. Okay, that was better. It's just that you know what the sound is, right? It's that instead of instead of an oo, it's more of an uh. Could. 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 Think of it like this. Um. <laughs> Could. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Could. And then Could. Could. Yeah, it's better. And then um, it's articulation. It sounds like the word you in the middle. Articulation. Yes. Perfect. Articulation. Okay. Um, what is your throat, everyone? Uh, where the neck is. <laughs> where your neck is, but on the inside. Yes. Yeah. The throat. Um... What about the word originally? Originally? No <laughs> yeah. At first. First time. In the first place, first time, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and what about sound chamber? Chum. It's a room. Chum. Right, um, a chamber. chamber. Yeah, yeah, a chamber. We usually use that word to talk about a room, like a large a, room. Yeah, a washing. Yes, like kind of like a fancy room. Actually, we would usually talk about a chamber being like the room of a princess or something. From space. <laughs> yeah, the or secrets. but in this case, we're talking about this little box area in here is a chamber. The Chamber of Secrets. Woo, go Harry Potter. Um, in this case, the space in the throat and the mouth. This is also called a chamber. So you can also use the word chamber to refer to kind of like a box, an, yeah. an empty box or space. For example, combustion chamber. Yep. Mm. Chamber. Used a lot in kind of engineering, I think, isn't it? Talking yes. about chambers and... So in, there's different an engine. <laughs> yeah. Combustion chamber. <laughs> right. Okay. So in this case, it's talking about the sound chamber or the space where the sound is created in the throat. What's your tongue? What's your tongue? Tongue. Mm. Inside the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Inside the mouth. <laughs> okay. That's your tongue. Um, what does articulation mean? Articulation practice. Mm, how you speak. <laughs> yes? How, how, you, how you speak. <laughs> yeah, how you speak, how you pronounce your words. To compose. Okay, so the verb is articulate. Articulation. And yes, um, there's also a verb. To, to articulate, articulation is how clearly you speak. Maybe. Pronunciation something. Okay. Um, what about the word rhythms? Pace. Rhythm. Yes. Nice dancing. Oh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pace or the speed. Speak. Rhythm. Rhythms. And then it's telling rhythm. us, um, yeah, rhythms. Rhythm. Yes, perfect. Rhythms. Perfect. Okay. Um, most languages use between 25 and 30 sounds. English uses more than 40. That's yeah. a lot, right? It's a nightmare. Yeah, it's a nightmare. For, for us, it's good because it's, we're native speakers, so we have all these crazy sounds. But then um, when we try to learn other languages, we kind of overcompensate and use too many sounds. Um, Especially vowels. Yeah. Hey, Anastasia. Anastasia. She's there. I know she's there. Um, okay, let's go to... Oh, sorry. Any other vocabulary? Vocabulary? Do you know this word, larynx? No. It's your voice box. It's voice box. Voice box. 
So it's, pulse. Yeah, that chamber in your throat is your larynx. Okay. Shall we go on? Yes. Okay. Number five. Thanks, Mauricio. Um, Mohammed. Mohammed, are you there? Okay, um, Slim? Yes. Um, start? Yep. So humans were physically able to speak around 200,000 years ago, but when did they actually start doing so? Estimates range from 35,000 to 100,000 years ago, but with no physical evidence of ancient language used. We need another approach to determine, to determine more precisely when humans begin to speak and to think critically. Okay. few words there, and the first two are both our problem. 100. Approach. Determine. Good. So I know that you can do your R when you're thinking about it, right? Uh -huh. But when you're, when you're reading, um, you f I think you, you're reading maybe a little bit too quickly and you forget and then you're rolling your R's while you read. You said hundred, hundred, I can't do it. Hundred it. <laughs> Rolled your R's. It's, it's a gift, it's a gift. <laughs> and approach, same with approach. But then when you do it separately, you say it perfectly. So you just have to remember to think about it while you're reading. And um, determine. Determine? Determine. It's not de determine. De de determine. It actually sounds more like an I did in American English. Determine. Cool. Determine. Okay. Yes. Um, Determine. Ancient language use. Old. Very, old. very, very old. <laughs> very <Yeah>. old. <laughs> okay. Antique. Yeah. Oh, hey, Anastasia. <laughs> Antique. Yeah. Very old. Any other vocabulary here in this paragraph? How are you guys with your numbers? Are you okay reading big numbers like this, everyone? Two hundred thousand. Yeah, this one. Thousand. Fifty-five thousand. Fifty-five thousand. One hundred thousand. One hundred thousand. Perfect. It's what about the years, not money? Big numbers. <laughs> what about that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, That's a of this you're okay with years, but not money. Uh huh. <laughs> what is it with money? Just the numbers? Yeah, big numbers. Yeah, with money. <laughs> yeah. Well, I spend too much. That's my problem. <laughs> you can pronounce them, but just oh no, I don't. <laughs> yes, with money you change. Yeah, with the like it would be way you would pronounce this. I wish I had that much in my bank account, but I don't. But you would say one hundred No no, this short one is fifty hundred. No one thousand ten million. But ten million and twenty three. No, there's a decimal point there. So it would be right if we were doing it with money, one hundred thousand dollars and twenty three cents. That's in American or Canadian. We use dollars, right? Mm -hmm. um, but you say the dollar value first, and then you say and, and then you say the cents. And Kristoff, you're right. It's either fifteen hundred or you can say one thousand five hundred. They're both correct. Yes, but I think uh, 1500 is more casual. Yeah, and more, it's more common. Yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, let's go to number six. Who read last? That was Slim, right? Mm -hmm. um, Adela. Yes. You ready? Yes, uh, Professor Richard Green of Stanford University, she shows that art uh, may be the key. After all, no other animals is able to create or appreciate art. It's a uniquely uh, human trait. Also, monkeys can put paint on a piece of paper, 
uh, there is not indication that the result represents any real uh, word object or any abstract thinking. If ancient humans uh, had the imagination to create a work of art, which in its field is a means of communication, then it seems highly likely uh, that they will possess the prim primary uh, means of communication, a uh, language. This suggests uh, that the first works of art uh, can be considered indicators of when language and critical thought uh, began. Cool. Okay. We've got a few words there. Do you see them in the chat? Suggest. 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 Right, not suggest. Suggest. Yes. Good. And then the next one? Appreciate. Good. It's appreciate. Appreciate. Good. So this this C I the C I sound in the middle, it sounds like a sh appreciate. Appreciate. Cool. Next uh, same same thing with the next word. Ancient. Good. Ancient. And communication. Good. Communication. Communication. Right. So again, in this case, the U in the middle sounds like the word U, like this. Communication. Okay. And it's, okay, listen to the difference. Communication. Communication. It's the second one. It's not communication. 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 Yes. Cool. Okay. Um, so yeah. So you guys all know that C I sound. That C I sound is in the middle of those words. It sounds like a sh ancient. 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 Um, what was the other word? Uh, appreciate. Okay. Appreciate. Cool. Um, so what does the word uniquely mean? No. The only only distinct. Sorry? The only. Distinct. Yeah, the only, the only one of something is it's unique to humans. Mm -hmm. um, we know what ancient means now. What, what does the word possess mean? Having. Um, to own. Yeah. To have. Yeah. yeah, to possess, to have. Um, the primary means, we, we looked at the word means before. So what if it's the primary means of something? The first uh, vital means of communication. Right. Major. Um, Most important. Point. Predominant. Predominant. Yeah. yeah predominant. Point. Good. Um, Slim, when you pronounce that word, it's it sounds more like an I. Predominant. Predominant. Yes. Yeah. yes. Good. Cool. Um, any other vocabulary? Any new words in this paragraph? Besides the bold words? No? Okay. Let's continue to number seven. In, in query. Sorry, which one? Okay, I will try. Okay. Winnie Quickly. Uniquely. Okay, uniquely means um, uniquely. solely, only. So it's only a human trait. Uniquely human, specifically. Uniquely. Okay. 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 Number seven. I will um, read it. Ahmad. Yes. Until recently, the earliest art was believed to be cave paintings, cave figures, and jewelry found in the southwestern Europe. And so to date, from about 40,000 years ago, this I guess that humans first became. became yes. Oh, it's long. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Capable of critical thought about 40 
thousand years ago. However, this time frame was recently overturned by an exciting discovery in South Africa. Anthropologist Charles Henshelwood spent more than 10 years exploring a cave there. He found many well-made tools, but more intriguing Intriguing were intriguing. intriguing. Intriguing were the eight thousand piece of okri, a soft stone a soft stone that can be turned into paint. Henshaw Woods breakthrough came in nineteen ninety nine when he found an orc piece with unmistakable etching on it. These were not indiscriminate knife marks but lines wait, wait, but lines cut in a careful pattern in other words it was a deliberate artistic design Hinshelwood had had found the oldest piece of art yet its date of origin set, set at 70,000 years, nearly 30,000 years before the art in Europe. Cool. This, yes. I'm going to pause you there. Um, I've got, that was long, thank you <laughs> for reading that. I've got a few words here in the chat. Yes. Slowly, oh, yes. suggest. Suggest. It sounds suggest. like a J, okay? Yes. Suggest. Discovery. Yes. Okay, Wood. Just Discovery. Be careful with your R. You, roll, you rolled your R when you read it, but that's okay. Discovery. Discovery. Wood. Okay, so I, you didn't actually have the word wood in here. It was someone's last name, Henshelwood, but you know what wood is, right? What is wood? Ooh, tree. Forest. Like a tree, right? Yes, um, yes. It's pronounced more like this. Wood. wood. Not, not wood. Wood. Uh, uh. Yes, of course, there is a, a differentiate between wood and wood. Right. Yes. Otherwise, it sounds like, like an owl. Wood. Wood. Yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. wood, and also, wood and wood, are, are they sound exactly the same. And it's like, yes. uh, wood. Uh. Wood. <laughs> wood. It's kind of an ugly sound, isn't it? Wood. <laughs> wood. Okay, and then the next one was, do um, you see it? Was, where and where. Okay, were and where. W-E-R-E -E is were. were, like this. Yes, were. Like this, the were in whirlpool. Were. Whirlpool, yes, whirlpool. Versus, versus where. Where, where yeah. and where. Good. Yes. And then there was one more. Yes. Ah. Indiscriminate. 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 Yes. At. at right. So uh, when like it, eight. Yeah. When the word doesn't have in, it's discriminate, like discrimination, right? Yes. But when you put the word in at the beginning, it's pronounced indiscriminate. Because uh, we have an e roll in the English pronunciation, and with e, e roll we uh, pronounce a. Yeah. Between the constant eight. Totally, you're right. It's an exception. Yes. <laughs> um, but and you're not right. Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> yeah. I was like, is she talking to me? I'm not even wearing my glasses today. <laughs> have you? I don't know if you guys have. Yeah, you've probably all seen my glasses, my nerdy glasses. Yeah, I saw it before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes I wear them when I wake up because I'm like, ugh, <laughs> I'm tired. What is, what is the difference between nerd and geek? Mm. Or just is the same? Um, I don't really know. I mean, so <laughs> <there are some laughs> people, okay, if you are a nerd, you could definitely answer that question because like I, I think one of them is more related to like science and math sort of stuff. Uh -huh. That's what I think of with with geek, and then nerd is more like computers and games. But I don't know. They're pretty much okay. the same thing. Okay. 
Bye. Either way, you're telling someone that they're very smart, right? <laughs> <laughs> Annoying smart. Annoyingly smart? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what does the word intriguing mean? Mm. Mysterious. Yes. Interesting. Um, catching your attention. Yes. Mm -hmm. Attracting and, your attention. Right. And what does indiscriminate mean? Now that we know how to pronounce it, what does it mean? And dis uh, distinguished. Undistinguished. Yes. Right. Yes. So it's like they're talking about knife marks. I don't have a knife. <laughs> um, I have a pen. <laughs> so. If I was to like, um, here you guys are gonna laugh, but here's some of my flashcards for my like children that I work with. So if I were to take this piece of paper and indiscriminately write on it, I'd be like, do do do, like that. Just Randomly. Like, random, random. No cert, no purpose really. Okay, bye, Lee. Nice to meet you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, deliberate. On purpose. Yes, on purpose, intentional, artistic design. So it was intentionally art, art, right? They were trying to be artsy. <laughs> um, I think we know what origin means. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Beginning, where it came from. Um, any other vocabulary in that last paragraph there? Oh, uh, what about ochre? That's an ogre. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I know, I know, okay. I know. Um, ochre is like a red stone that's very malleable, oh, yes. and it can be turned into paint. It can be used you for paint. You can do dye from this. Yeah, dye. That's why a lot of um, ancient artifacts have that sort of dark red burgundy color on them. Um, it's because of ochre, because it's a natural substance. Mm -hmm. um, what about etchings? Mm, how to say? <laughs> like a scene? An etching is like something that is scratched in. So, you know when people are in love, they carve their name into a tree with a heart? Yeah. That's like an etching, a carving. It's called... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just before we leave, Anastasia, can you read number eight for us? Okay. Uh, based on Henschel's wood discovery, it seemed that humans began uh, to speak and think critically at least uh, 7,000 years ago. It will be interesting to see if any future archaeological uh, uh, finds push this date bait even further into the past. Good. Critically. Critically. Yeah, just be careful with that, that A-L-L-Y, it just sounds mm -hmm. like Lee, right? Okay, uh-huh. Archeo archaeological. <laughs> That's, I still mix, like, I say that wrong sometimes, so. Uh -huh. Archaeological. Archeo archaeological, yeah. Ar Push. It almost okay. sounds like, like a key. Ar archaeological. 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 It's a tough one to pronounce, so don't worry. <laughs> and push, uh. Push, or uh, push. Not who, uh. Push. 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 Yes, yeah. Push. Mm -hmm. cool. Thanks. Okay. Um, I don't think we have any new vocabulary, really, in this one, except maybe archaeological. Does everyone know what that means? Mm, digging. Yeah. Yeah. Archaeology is digging, digging for fossils, bones. Um, I always picture someone with a shovel and like a big floppy hat in the sand, right? <laughs> when I think of an archaeologist. Or beef helmet. Yeah, or a helmet, ex excavating something. Yeah. Um, okay, we're out of time. I was just going to. Oh, you were muted. Because no, he's, it mutes me when I type. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I type a lot, so I'm still getting used to it. Okay. Um, I just gave you my Facebook. I'm teaching the next two classes. So come join me in the next one if you want to, okay? Okay. Cool. See you. Bye. Bye. See you. Thank you, Samantha. Bye.
Thanks nice for to coming. see you again.